Woohoo, this is the longest video ever. So, all right, here we go. Part 10, requesting images, the final part of this project. Why did we wait until the end um, to just work this in? Well, they say it's important to build the workflow first and worry about the details later. I'm glad they're saying this now after having us like round the corner on buttons and set the height of cells. Um, okay, well, they say one thing and do another. So um, your, app, your app has at least three view controllers that are going to display images. Um, the menu, the order, the menu detail, or the menu item detail. And so let's, hmm, it says to set up the cache size. Set up a new URL cache inside of app delegate. That, so the cache has been created before the network requests are made. So this is like to, um, so you don't have to keep fetching the same image data for every screen. Um, so we're going to open up the app delegate here. And it wants to put us some stuff in the app delegate. All right, so we're going to look for the did finish with launching options here. And this is where we want to put some stuff. Some room for myself here. So after this curly brace and the bool, um, we're going to plunk a directory, a URL cache. You know, this is also, by the way, the place that we would uh, put the notification, the observer, and the tab window and all that. I'm going to drop those in here too for later just to see, you know, because I think that I'll eventually make a video where I fix the couple things that I broke. We'll go back and fix those, the fix me's. So I'm going to put this to a fix me. It's a note to myself. So here we go. We're going to make a directory, temporary directory. I've never used this before. This is pretty cool. And that temporary directory is going to hold a certain amount of memory in cache. And that is going to be some shared memory that we can access. That is a really interesting way to do it and something I've not done before. So it's always kind of cool to learn something new. I think that's all we need for this app de app delegate is to declare that stuff. Okay. Now what, what's next book? We put that in there. Now when you make the request for images, the image of the data will be placed in this larger cache. Since you're running server on your Mac, images should appear almost instantaneously. But most real world scenarios, images take time to load. So some sort of placeholder image would reassure the user the images are being fetched. For the purpose of this project, a simple gray square will suffice. Uh, okay, so we're going to go in the storyboard and look for menu table view controller. I'll put this up here and so I can show you. Storyboard, uh, prototype cell for a menu. So let's see, is this the menu one? By the way, now, by the way, now is as good a time as any. So let's get rid of this root where it says root view controller. Let's change that, shall we? Uh, this is going to be uh, Dave's Restaurant. Rant, resto rant. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Um, then this next one is fine. Then this next one is fine. Um, down here, instead of uh, root view controller, um, let's let's call this one my order. There, that was bugging me. Okay, now I fixed that. Um, what they're saying is up here is where you might get the image, right? Category table view controller. Oh no, these are just the categories. So there's no images here. Okay, these are the prototype cells. This one is the menu table view controller. And yes, we might have an image here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this here. The um, style, the style for this cell should be set to ba uh, basic, I believe. And uh, there's the image, default image. So let's see what they say about that. Because there's a way to set that to a gray square is what they're saying. Okay, book, what are you doing here? Normally I would just put a default image in there and then just... Oh, I guess there's some kind of a gray square image provided in the resource folder for the project. Okay. So let's find that folder, I guess. Okay, it's in the downloads directory. Here's the restaurant thing. 
There's that gray box. Great. Wonderful. So let's just take that gray box and throw it in the assets, yeah? You can take that gray box and throw it in the assets. Placeholder. Okay, so now I got an image call it place, called placeholder. Now, over here, proto, prototype cell, grab, type in placeholder, right? Are you serious? Oh, that's weird. That should work. So let's take a closer look at this placeholder here. Hello? Anyone home? I'm going to call it something other than placeholder. I'm just going to call it gray box or something. Gray box. Okay, I've renamed it gray box. Um, that should be it, man. You should have access to that. So I'm going to go back over here. Like, for instance, if we click on this image, yeah, there's the gray box. So why can't I select image here for the gray box? A gray box does not show up with basic. There's probably some really fancy reason for that, but for now I'm just going to select right detail because that makes sense. I think that looks pretty good. And um, so selecting right detail, then choose the gray box there. Um, that's annoying. I don't know why that is. I'm going to also choose this um, gray box as the image for this one over here, just as a default. And um, what else? Where else do we have that? So the order table view controller. Order table view is here. So this one, we're going to change this to uh, right detail also, and then choose the gray box there. Okay. Great. Now we've got our dumb gray box. Wonderful. It wants us to set the content mode to aspect fit. Okay, fine. So do you know how to do that? You select the image here, then choose um, aspect fit. Oh, it's already selected. Uh, I think that these, we don't have that op opportunity to do that. That's just kind of... Oh, look at that view aspect fit. There it is. Let's do the same down here. Aspect fit. Okay. Lovely. Placeholders in place. How you find the right image. So let's make a new method in menu controller called fetch image. I think that I may have already copied this in. It might already be there. You might already have it in there too if you copied what I copied. So let's take a look. Um, not menu item. We're looking for uh, menu controller. So let's see. Do we have something called fetch image? Yeah, it's right here. So if you don't already have this function, fetch image, then enter that in. But looks like we're good to go. It's getting the data and loading the image and wonderful, wonderful. Make sure you import UI kit. Um, okay. Now, below each line where you set the placeholder image, request the image data using the fetch image function. In the completion handler, check to see if there's an image. Otherwise, you can return immediately from the method. Here's an example of making this request. So here's the configure, um, and we have some of these configures around around our uh, app. So I'm going to actually just search for this configure code in my app. Let's see where it is. Okay, there's one in the menu table here. And you'll see, I, I wrote here, leave for later when we have images. So go ahead and uncomment that now if you have it, or else type this out. Let's see if I've got it working. It's taking a while to figure this out. I think there's something weird going on here. So the menu item doesn't have an image URL is what it's saying here. Menu items are located in my menu item Swift file. Looks like it's got an image URL to me. Let's go take a closer look here. Okay. <clears throat> cannot convert the value of string to an expected argument type of URL. Let's see what's going on here. Are we looking at, we're maybe not comparing apples to apples here. So we're in the menu table view controller. So it wants uh, a different thing. It doesn't want what we're giving it. Hmm. Let's look at the menu item in this. So let's go back here to the menu item. It's saying 
we don't want a string, we want a URL. So you know what I have to say about that? Fine, let's give it a URL. And we'll give it a URL that will mess up some things here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay, so it's not happy down here. It's not happy with this because it's expecting a URL from a string. So uh, you know what, we'll just do that. Um, there, take that. Get rid of this one. Now you've got a URL from a string, okay? And again, this is only called, it's the default item. This isn't even in the book. This is just me trying to make sure that when there's not an item there, it doesn't crash the app. Oh, I've got an extra parentheses here. There. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to wait. Let me make sure that it's happy with that. Are you happy with that? No, you hate it? Why? You know what? Uh, you know what? Let's just do this for now because I'm running out of patience with this. So we'll test this to make sure it doesn't crash your app. But for now, let's just keep moving, moving forward here. Um, what do you want, Buck? What do you want? Show me. Okay, so the, theoretically, I think if we go back to menu, uh, table view controller here, I think now that we've entered in this stuff and we've fixed that problem we were having, in theory, the user interface should now load an image, fetch an image, and assign the image to the image view. Um, and this is in which one? The detail view controller. Let's just see if it's working. It's like it's getting the string from the label text. No. It's getting the string from the menu item image URL. So the URL is entered in there somewhere already. It's probably just a number because I think their images were just numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dot PNG. So salads. Oh no, I clicked the wrong thing. Salads. Italian salad. Not working yet. I'm losing my mind over here, folks. All right, let's try to turn these menu view controllers on, get the images working here. So I'm uncommenting this bit of code here. This should now fetch the image, guard, assign the image, and let's see if this works. One of these images should load if I did this right. Appetizers. Have mushroom ravioli. Add to the order. Go to my orders. Oh, wait a second. It, I think it is working. See, look. What is this? Sample food image? Well, can we please have an actual image here? They're so lazy they didn't put the images in there. Oh, my God. Really? You couldn't afford some stock photography of some ravioli? There. <clears throat> mm. Can't believe they wouldn't give you some pictures. So ham and mushroom, ravioli, add to order, go to the orders. Okay, we got to change the image over here too in my orders. Um, that is in the order confirmation view, I think. No, order table view. Table view, configure is here. Okay, here's configure. Um, so the cell we got to put that image in here, right? Except the, um, it's not self image view instead. It's going to be cell. I see. It's like this instead. It's not that. It's this. Cell image view image image. Cell dot image view dot image is equal to a Z image. There. Stop. Start. Do go go go. We're so close, everyone. We're so close. I've never done this one before. It's been quite a slog. I think it shows. I have a feeling that uh, I'm gonna be doing this again someday. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We don't have an image for the salad yet. It was too much. So there's the images. And there's your order. Oh no, it's stretched. Let's figure out how to fix that. Storyboard. 
It says aspect fit. Let's uh, double check there. Here we go. So did you see that? I had to expand this over here. I'm actually going to do the same up here because I don't think I did that right. So if you select up here, the content view has the gray box inside of it. Yeah, and you want to aspect fit that. Yeah. I mean, I think this is kind of working the way we want it to, right? There's the different things we can add. It's accessing the server. Oh, it's fiddling with the size of this. There's a section in the chapter where it shows you how to change the height of the cell. It's just a bit of code, height of cell at index, and you just type in whatever number you want. Um, again, we're just trying to get this thing working, right? I mean, within like a four-hour period of time. Um, I don't fully understand. Like, they show images here, uh, yet they didn't ship it with images. So I guess they expect you to load those in. Okay, so here's how they show you how to adjust the height of the cell. Height for row. Let me just show you this really quick. It's a total piece of cake. Just copy this little bit of code. You don't even have to copy it, honestly, because if you just type height for row in the table view. So let's see. Let's let's just show you. So in this um, table view up here. So this one is called the menu table view controller. Menu table view controller. You find somewhere in the main view here, or the main class here. And just type height, height for row, hit enter, and then just type return whatever, 100. There. That's your code that you need. The order confirmation page, I think, is... No, the order table view page is another place you can toss that. And now build and run. So see how it's taller now? See? Taller. Okay, I think it's it. Let's Let's see. So... Here's your appetizers. Here's your ham and mustard. Ham and mushroom, I mean. And look how it says ham and mushroom dot dot dot. We should probably fix that with some sizing and whatnot and make sure that it extends out here. But whatever. That's just design stuff. We can do that in, the, in post. That is really an interesting feature we got going there where it starts out small and goes big. I'm going to have to look into that too. We'll just talk to the designers about that. Whatever. Uh, you can delete things, right? Delete. It doesn't crash. You can place the order. Submit. Shows the screen. If you want, you can click this dismiss button. If you want, you can just slide it down. That's also a feature. Um, go back to the main screen here. Love it. Okay. I digress again. And there's no time for digressing because this was a really long lesson. If you've actually succeeded in this one, congratulations. I know that sometimes it's even being um, it's even being allowed as uh, as extra credit for in some classes because it's so hard. So good luck. If you get it, then great. Good job with the extra credit. If you made it through the video, I apologize for, um, you know, messing things up here and there. But I think it does help learn seeing how debugging works and whatnot. And um, boy, I think uh, it's, um, it's time to take a break. Yeah. So go. Relax. Congratulations.